You're still watching SABC News Channel 404 now. He guided Marisburg United to their first ever top eight finish in the Premier Soccer League. Well, whilst there, he also guided the team of Church to some outstanding results against the so-called big clubs. Yes? Absolutely. And he is now at the helm of what many believe is the biggest club in the country, Kaza Chiefs. He joins us tonight, Coach Steve Compella of yes. Amakosi. Welcome to Sports Life, Coach. Thank you so much for having me. Coach, I, I know that you've had some, uh, what is it called? I was not objections, but obstacles coming here. There's some people who are saying funny things, but you you find now. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. People do not want to make me feel welcomed, mm -hmm. but uh, we thrive on challenges, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they know themselves. <laughs> let's not mention names. <laughs> Go, let's start right there. The challenges. In fact, let's start Marisburg United. That's where you've just come from. Mm -hmm. They had a super season with you at the helm. Mm -hmm. um, take us through that emotional move because I know and I know you had fun there particularly after guiding them to a top eight finish as well. It, it, was, it was great fun. And one, I have to thank the Marisbeck United supporters and the administration as well. People in Marisbeck are genuine. Uh, when they say hi, you feel it's a genuine greeting. And even the work we did there, we had to do them proud in the sense that we wanted to raise the profile of the city. Mm -hmm. Because there was also a measure between the city and the club. Now trying to say from coaching point or from footballing side, can you make it a point that whatever is put in by municipality is rewarded to set precedence to all other municipalities to buy into partnerships with clubs? And I think we, we achieved that. Now, Coach, moving into Kaza Chiefs, it is fairly new, and I can imagine you've been taking your time to spend time with the players, getting to know their personalities, having them to sort of get into your mind and understand the style that you're going to be bringing into the team. What are the challenges that you're looking forward to, a team that did so exceptionally well last season? I, th I think the challenge, Pearl, is in the statement that they did extremely well last season. You cannot take that away from the books of Kaza Chiefs. In as much as they are a highly ambitious club with a great, rich history of success, and we also want to leave a great legacy. And we want to be a generation that is remembered for winning things. But one must not be, I can't be misled to thinking that it's going to be easy. And the fact that as well, you come in at the back of a season where the club won two trophies. Mm -hmm. uh, people obviously and our supporters expect nothing but at least two, failing one. And none would really come up as, but why didn't it come through when the previous season we got something? We highly focused on that, and the players received us very well. And the administration as well, they took us through process of induction. At Kaiser Chiefs, it's amazing. They take you through so that you can understand the brand and where you are. In as much as I played for Chiefs mm -hmm. before, I assisted Musina Tugral before, but the environment and the institution has grown so much that I needed to be taken through the process again. Mm. I mean, you, you just came off uh, off season right now, um, competition, King's Cup in Swaziland. Mm. Um, we're not going to read much into that. Mm. It's the one that's coming mm. that is probably the one that a lot of mm. people will start be thinking, mm, do we judge Coach Steve on Carling Cup derby, it's not an official match, but yeah. it's, it's a derby, so it is an official e match. E e <laughs> any Pirates and Chiefs match you come across, it's like more you can't choose your parents. <laughs> uh, I'm a boy to a mother and a father who were born on a farm. So if I had a way, I would ask to be mothered and fathered by somebody else. <laughs> a chiefs Pirates game is in that category. And, and the format of the, of, the, of the match itself, the fact that you'll be having a celebrity coach there or he, mm. whatever it is, the selection is made through voting and all that has no bearing. The fact remains Kaza Chiefs is playing Orlando Pirates and results have to be, there's a trophy to be played for. It's quite exciting and it's going to be packed. Great yeah. atmosphere and for me it would be one great experience to go through even though the pressure won't be direct but pressure is there in this job. Now, as always, when a brand new coach comes onto a team, the fans always want what they want. You know, they mm. ask questions like, are you going to be playing the new signings? Mm. Uh, will Kaza Chiefs be um, trying to go more into Africa and expanding its, uh, its, its name uh, mm. on the African continent? What would you say are, are sort of the plans or the overview of what you see happening this season with Kaza Chiefs? I think, Paul, to be honest, even, even going to Swaziland, you know, when you're in Swaziland, when the Swazi media asks you questions, it's so nice to make reference to their own. When you speak of Abel Shongo, you speak mm -hmm. of Skara Tintwa and William Shongo, it's nice. Now, how nice could it be that this huge brand can be extended even further into Africa? Several attempts have been made, yeah. obviously. 
even last season and all that. So it would be nice to say, can we take it a step further? Mm -hmm. And the ambitions of the club and the administration is such that this team has to achieve. And we are in line with that. Yeah. Coach, what we did earlier, as I said before we started the show, that we asked some of our especially particular Kansas mm -hmm. Chiefs fans okay. to be the ones who ask you the questions because those are the people that that go to the stadium and support this team. We're going to ask our director to put up the first question. I'm sure they're ready by now. These are what some of the fans have said. Um, the first question, I think, is from uh, Kolani Nguegazi, and he asked the coach, um, what is Compella's mandate for the 2015-2016 season? Mm. Is there a mandate the share set by, by the bosses? Obviously, uh, let me put it to you. It, it, to, be, to be honest with you, they would not even go to even saying to you, this is your mandate. They, they, being in that environment, is mandatory that you must win things so the mandate is simple that listen this team is full of rich history of winning trophies so you have to be part of that and the desire from an individual the coach and the player that listen, i want to be part of the generation that is special that is it and every match at kaiser chiefs that there's no even the one we played in Switzerland mm -hmm. with a team that was not ready you're still in a preparatory phase you can feel and you see faces of people who are upset to say but why can't we win it whether it's penalties or no penalties mm. so the mandate is clear you have to make these supporters happy Amakosi are there they are used to glory yeah. and they want to keep the glory Coach, the next question is, I'm going to go to the fourth one, uh, mm. seeing that the other two questions are similar to what I asked you. Um, Shengo Love says, Coach, which area, according to you, needs to be beefed up? I was looking on Facebook the other day, and mm. obviously people are complaining mm. with regards to uh, the goalkeeper. They're mm. calling for Kune's return, mm. but obviously there's a mm. lot of drama um, mm. surrounding that. So which areas are you going to be focusing on? One thing that I wouldn't do, I would never shoot Kune's talent down one has to recognize and acknowledge the talent that he has. However, must also be quick to remind our supporters and everybody else who'd been following Kaiser Chiefs that uh, when Kaiser Chiefs won the, 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 the APSA Premiership last season, there had been a great role played by brilliant Kuzuayo and Riyad Peterse when unfortunately Kune had suffered the injury. Yeah. So it tells to, I mean, it talks to us that, listen, not that we made it without him, but still in his absence, there were those who, who stood up and mm -hmm. they, they, they counted. Mm -hmm. Now, with regards to his issue, it is at the level where it is dealt with by authorities. And clearly the process is still ongoing and one cannot come up with a verdict or a conclusive statement. Mm. Uh, there's an interesting one here as well, Coach. I mean, I'm no longer going to go into, into Kune's one. Um, I'll ask um, Claire to move down to John Mapeka as well as Bongani Ngube. Those are pretty interesting ones. The first one, John asks mm -hmm. you, Coach, mm -hmm. um, Besides looking at Kune, another name that came up, Dean Furman. Okay. He doesn't have a club overseas. Okay. Could maybe Kazuchi say, look, Dean, come back home. You do make your way to Bafana Fana anyway when called up. What do you think of signing an international like that? Me, let me follow through the football manager's words when he said, any player of quality who's available there and Chiefs has intention, there's processes. The fact that you're mentioning Dean Furman, I'm sure he's sitting at home and saying, oh, wait a minute. Dean Fairman, a lot of names will be thrown yeah. in. And it is also the responsibility of our processes in-house to take stock and check, do we need this, don't we need that? And based on that, decisions are made. So Dean Fairman, good quality player, mm -hmm. international player, South African captain. And if you were to ask me, Chief, wouldn't you like to see him play for Chiefs? Listen, anybody would want to see a quality player. But with regards to his movements, there hasn't been anything on our doorstep. Mm. Coach, and with regards to the upcoming Carling Cup, obviously it's, it's very exciting. It's Africa's biggest derby. Mm. And I know that tough words are usually exchanged uh, in, in, in the change rooms with, with your boys. Mm. What do you promise the fans this time around? Because we'd like to see some goals within the 90 minutes and not necessarily have to go into penalties and make the world's heart stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's derbies are, are exciting. And the level of expectation sometimes determines how you feel at the end of the outcome. Sometimes we tend to, to hope so highly that even a good performance mm -hmm. that never yielded a result in terms of goals, you would still feel, ah, it derby, but it never gave us goals. When the game itself was top class. Yeah. So it would be nice to have a top class game with lots of goals. Yeah. People must enjoy. And e Black Label, the Carling Cup on its own, is a unique format. We're gonna have a guest coach there 
I call them celebrity coaches. <laughs> Let them come in and enjoy, be part of the environment. And also our selections are influenced by the vote. Yeah. The process is quite unique. One has to embrace that and acknowledge the fact that yes, it is a unique match. The voting is different. Uh, the results have to come, but there's two yeah. big teams, two rivals playing against each other, and a result has to come. Coach, I'm going to ask you one last question. It's got nothing to do with, with, with local football, per se, mm -hmm. or Kaiser Chiefs. And I ask this question as an international coach. I mean, you coached mm -hmm. Bafana Bafana before. You've coached at the highest level. You've played internationally. What do you make of the, the FIFA situation right now? And now, this has got nothing to do with the Kaiser Chiefs, Kaiser Chiefs coach, but yeah. literally as, a, as an international coach. I mean, somebody sitting in and looking in. As a sports person, it's very unfortunate. It's always nice to be in an environment that is clear and transparent. And whenever there are questions thrown in your own environment, it, it, it is unsettling. Because in as much as it is something that has to do with organization or it's more administrative, technically it does have effect. It would be nice to have a game that is clear without any scandals. Yeah. And we hope to see this come to an end in a manner that does not tarnish yeah. the game seriously. Because football to me, transforms lives. Yeah. Football affects lives and it changes lives in a positive way. And it would be a, a it would be a sad story to hear that football does not have the same effect because of scandals that had been forthcoming. Yeah. Let this come and go and football must continue its way of transforming society. Uh, coach Steve Compella, head coach of Kaiser Chiefs, in fact Coach of Kaiser Chiefs, period. Because all the structures fall under one coach. And stop saying former Marids, this, this. <laughs> you see, she, <laughs> you, I like this. Pearl, she's the one that brought it up. Former what? And former Marids uh, being and United and coach. And I suspect Pearl is not one of us. But I'll make it a point that Vina gives a, a membership. <laughs> ah, no, I'll, I know Vina will definitely do so. Anyway, that unfortunate coach, that's where we have to leave it for tonight. I know you're going over to our sister channel, SABC Sports and One. Yes. So do hold on. In fact, do switch on to SABC One at 10 o'clock where you can catch Coach Steve Compella. Broader conversation we'll have there with Thomas and Mamba and the team. Thank you indeed for joining us on Sports Life for Thank tonight. Thank you, Coach. <laughs>